Good day, my lords and my ladies. Welcome to the Shire. His Majesty King Henry awaits you. <coughs> oh. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. You caught me practicing for the relaunch of the new Connecticut Renaissance Fair. There's so much to do before we welcome you to our village from the balcony of our magnificent new gatehouse. What gatehouse, you ask? Well, let me start from the beginning. First, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Brian Harvard, co-owner and general manager of the Connecticut Renaissance Fair. My partners, Eric Tatro and Paul DeNuno and I have been running CTRF since way back in 1999. We've come a long way since our humble beginnings behind the King's Inn, but we've entertained thousands and thousands of people like you over our 14 year history. And this year won't be any different. Well, it'll be a little different and here's how. For the past decade or so, CTRF has been telling the tale of King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table. It's been a great story, but it's been more of a medieval tale instead of a Renaissance one. Now, with the move to Norwich, we're finally able to tell the story of King Henry VIII, and it will finally be in a Renaissance time period. So what does this mean to you? Quite a bit. Aside from the change in storyline, we are, as I mentioned earlier, moving to Dodd Stadium in Norwich, Connecticut. No, no, you won't be seeing the joust on the ball field or at home plate, but on a clear lot off to one side of the property. It's essentially an empty canvas that will allow us to do whatever we want. No modern buildings, no pig barns, no power lines, and no paved streets to distract you from the fantasy of visiting a Renaissance village. The first part of our plan will be the creation of a new gatehouse that will greet you as you arrive at the park. The goal is to build it as a two-level structure where the king and his royal court will greet you as you start your day and as you wait to enter the Shire. There will also be a gift shop built as part of the base and a ticket booth too. This drawing by David Stickney, best known for his portrayal as Pope Urbino, shows what we plan to do, but we can't do it without your help. So that's why we've come to Indiegogo. We've put together some awesome rewards for your donations, and we hope that you'll agree this is something worth donating to. Thank you for your attention, and we look forward to seeing you this fall at the new Connecticut Renaissance Fair.